All right, it's a giveaway time. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the URL. Let's see who entered. 46 people entered this. Again, you have to have commented on my Instagram to also qualify to win. Winner is Sam Felix. I'm gonna check my Instagram. If you're on here, you, you're the winner. Sam Felix, you're the winner. I saw you commented also on my Instagram here. Pretty sure this is you. Go ahead and send me a DM with your address and I'll go ahead and send your decal right over. Thank you guys for entering and make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for our next giveaway at 7,000 subscribers. So that's coming up. Make sure you guys share the videos and subscribe so we can get up to 7,000. Amante de las ramblas, silverado levantada, un retrobe. El modesto se la pasa, es su casa de la raza. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a different type of video. We're gonna do more of a vlog style because we are on our way to Mexico, Zacatecas to be exact, Nochistlan. So you can see we're taking our brand new truck and our quad. They ain't taking our truck, cut. Bajense de la troca, cut. We got our suitcases, everything back here. It's early right now. Uh, I'm currently in Arizona. I'm here with my little sister. Right now, it's like 6.30. We left the house around 3.30, so right now we're in, just entering Arizona in Blyth, Blyth, whatever you want to call that. Uh, my parents are coming with us too. They're, they're driving their Tundra along with the little trailer, so they're actually at another gas station because, um, because they're hauling the trailer. They ran out of gas a lot quicker than I did. I only pumped, what is this, 16 gallons, 60 bucks, not too bad. Here in Arizona, it's about to be 10. We're approaching uh, Phoenix. I'm not sure if we're already in Phoenix or we're about to enter it. But here we go. Big shout out to anybody that is subscribed that's from Phoenix or anywhere in Arizona. I'm in your town right now. Well, literally just passing by, but next stop is gonna be probably Tucson. not sure how far it is from here but probably a couple hours so far the truck's been running good we've had no issues i'm constantly checking the temperature here and our transmission temperature everything is working out good our tires are nice and good we're driving nice and straight the alignment is perfect I was a little bit iffy because obviously I did all the work on this truck. If you guys remember how I used to look like, here's a picture. And I did all the work myself, so I was a little iffy, but we already have a good six hours almost on the road here and no issues whatsoever. Let's continue heading on. So the next place we're going to be heading to is Tucson, Arizona. I believe it's about an hour and a half away from where we're at right now. I don't know if this is main Phoenix area, but it looks like it. Pretty city like here after driving a long time in the desert. But I'm not sure if I'll make it with gas. Yeah, I'll probably make it with gas. 
I'll make it with the gas that I have to tux in. I'm not sure if my dad will though, because like I said, he's hauling, so he's um, wasting a lot more gas than I am. We're here in Tuxin already. We're gonna pump some gas. I still have a little bit more than three fourths of a tank. Well, my dad's out already, so I'll show you which one is his truck right there. That's his truck with his trailer right there. So, might as well pump gas too. Gas is pretty cheap here. You guys got some pretty cheap gas over here in Arizona. And in uh, California, it was almost up $4 a gallon. And here it's $2.85 for premium. Shoot. I'm gonna fill this sucker up. Mariana, mm -hmm. how are you doing so far? Good. I'm thirsty. Mariana's been sleeping on and off throughout the whole ride. Let's see how much it is over here. Everything's still safe over here. I did have a tarp covering all this area, but it flew off. This this net was too cheap. So I'm gonna have to replace it with something else. Filled up with $47 here. local time we're entering Texas now this is uh, uh Texas is this truck's uh, homeland did you know that Anna? Yeah. this truck came originally from Texas so feels right at home she's back there you go there's a sign right there Welcome to Texas, drive friendly the Texas way. Shout out to everybody who was a subscriber that's from Texas. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys are from Texas. So we're still 18 miles from El Paso. We're gonna stop and eat probably at Whataburger. I believe there's one like five minutes away from here. So we'll stop and eat there first. And I think we're gonna go to a hotel and just crash. Relax here in the morning, pick it up again, and drive all day in Mexico from Chihuahua to Zacatecas. So the truck's been handling really good, no problems whatsoever. All right, quick update we went to eat at Whataburger and we actually decided to just head out to Mexico already, taking a big risk, but. It's still early and it's too early to just like go to sleep and kick it, you know? So we might as well travel a good amount before it gets too late. Right now it's barely five on the time from here, Texas, and time back home it's barely four. So 
we're probably gonna travel another four or five hours and then find a nice hotel or something that we can stay at and then continue in the morning but we don't want to travel past like 10 or 11 because that's when it can get very dangerous i think we're pretty safe if we stop before 11 and not travel too much in the middle of the night you know i think that's when this shit happens um i'm not feeling that sleepy actually i'm just tired from my back and my my butt how about you Adina? So right now we're in the Santa Teresita exit. Doesn't seem like to be that many cars. Hopefully they don't tell me too much stuff, man, about the truck or the quad. I really don't want to be uh, investigated too much. Not that I have anything to hide or anything, but it's a hassle, man, if they, if they make me take stuff down and stuff like that. So we'll see. So we actually decided to run all night. We're currently here in Jimenez. Aquí andamos en, en Jimenez a descansar. O más bien a echar gasolina. Todo bien por el camino so far. Everything's intact over here. I put this uh, lona back on to somewhat cover the quad to protect it a little bit. And obviously La moto de mi papá está ahí. Esa sí está bien protegida. Here's my little sister. She's been knocked out the whole time, practically. Look at her. Gracias. All right, little update, guys. We're currently leaving uh, Gomez Palacio. And uh, so far, no hiccups. So far, everything is good. Look at this beautiful view, though. You guys can clearly see that. The only thing I got was um, some federal that was trying to get smart with me. He was asking for my permit, and then he kept asking me, like, uh, what model? He's like, his exact words, he's like, ¿Qué modelo tu troca? Y, y que modelos tu patrimoto? And I kept saying, well, my, it's a Yamaha and it's a Silverado. And he's like, no, 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 no. Que modelo? And I'm like, Silverado. He's like, no, modelo. And I'm like, Chevy, Silverado. That he was being an a-hole for YouTube purposes. And, and he said, no, cuando yo te pregunto que modelo, es que año. So I'm like, dude, what the hell? Why can't you just say que año? Que año es tu troca? Que año es tu patrimoto? He's just trying to get smart, dude. So, other than that, though, everything is good. We still got about six hours and 40 minutes to our destination. It says we'll be there by probably 6 p.m. Not too bad, honestly. I thought we would be there by like 7. So with all the stops and everything, yeah, 6, 6 p.m. is... Pretty good to make it to Nochi's in time. 
So I'll give you guys an update in about an hour. I'll see where I'm at. work my wheels fall off then I didn't do a good job <clears throat> my man these roads are like bad no way you can drive a lower truck here with small profile tires you need some big tires for all this movement I'm only going 40 miles an hour and I can feel it <clears throat> Thank God I changed everything brand new, uh, the whole suspension. Otherwise, this would be even worse than how it is right now. We're gonna be here for a good hour at least. Right. Yeah, here in Mexico, you have a lot of one-way lanes. So a lot of times, show them, you definitely have to just go for it and go the opposite way. So sometimes it's very dangerous because you really cannot see who's coming. Just like there's a car coming right here. I mean, they, they make they make room for you, so you can go. But it can be very dangerous. Right. For example, how to pass, passing safely. You're obviously on the opposite lane, but you're passing safely. Zacatecas, we're here. Oh, Two people crash, probably head on. Oof. 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 Look at that. Head on. That's what happens when the rebasas right there. Alright, so it's now what time is it it's about to be 7 p.m it's dark we're going from aguascalientes to noches now but this carretera damn this carretera that takes you to uh to caltiche is the most sketchiest road ever there's potholes everywhere you can't see shit um, I have my, luckily I have my aux beam LED bar on, my high beams on, my low beams on, everything on to try to see as much as I can, but even then I can still barely see because there's no light whatsoever here. But this is the most sketchiest uh, roll whatever. We'll see you guys when we make it to Nochis hopefully. I already hit a bunch of potholes. All right, guys, it's eight o'clock, and we're reaching no cheese right now. Finally here. All right, guys, we made it safely to the rancho now. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will continue it in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, and make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned for the other videos. Never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga. I'm